Hey guys, so long time no see. We took a little bit of a break to focus on Vlogmas on my main channel, Brittany Morrow. Now we are back. Vlogmas is behind us. We're ready to start making more content on here. So today's video is actually going to be an after Christmas clean with me. I debated and went back and forth if I wanted to go ahead and take all the Christmas decorations down or should I leave them up after the new year? But I think I wanna go ahead and take everything down, have a fresh start, a clean slate, for the new year and not have to stress about it the first of the year and just go ahead and get it done now. Even though as, mu as much as I love my Christmas decorations, after a while, it does start to feel a little cluttered and especially after Christmas with all the new toys, I'm just like, okay, it's time to organize, it's time to clean, we need to get everything tidy again. That's what we're gonna do today. All the Christmas decorations are coming down. I'm thinking I'll leave a few stuff up for the month of January. I think I'll leave my wreaths up and little stuff here and there. Let's go ahead and get ready for 2022. It's so crazy to say that. So as I am doing this voiceover, it is January 1st, so it's officially the new year. Happy New Year's, everybody. I hope you guys all had a great New Year's and happy 2022. It feels so weird to say that for that to come out of my mouth because in some ways I still feel like I am stuck in 2020. I don't know what happened the last two years and not to get already too deep into <laughs> this conversation or get too sentimental or I don't know what the right word is, but you guys know, know during these voiceovers, I like to get deep, like have deep conversations with you guys sometimes. But I just feel like the last two years went by so fast since the start of the pandemic, since COVID and quarantine in 2020, everything has just flown by. And I think it has also tested us and we've learned a lot this last two years. I was just thinking about this the other day. I'm like, holy crap, it is already 2022. The last two years have taught me so much, probably more than I've ever learned in my entire life. And I know it's probably challenged you guys in you know many ways than one. And maybe it hasn't affected some of you guys. If you, if you haven't been affected, give yourself a pat on the back, you're lucky. But I think it's affected all of us and we've learned a lot, a lot these past two years. And I know I've learned a lot about myself in particular these last two years. So yeah, not to get again to cheesy or sentimental but I had that almost epiphany and realization that it's it's a new year already and I've been thinking a lot about my goals and I try not to set too many goals for the new year because I want to be realistic and I don't want to put too much pressure on myself and most importantly make sure that they are attainable you know they're not out of this world goals as many of you guys know we started our engraving and etching business in 2021, a little over six months ago. So we have so many goals centered around that. And then also just our YouTube content as well. So I also wanna hear from you guys, what are your goals? Even if they're like the smallest goal, what are your goals for the new year? I think any goal is a great goal, no matter how big or small that it is. And another goal of mine actually is to become more dedicated to, I guess, my fitness and my health. I really started to take that serious this last year it's so weird to say last year but i really took that more seriously last year and although i am the fittest that i have ever been in my entire life like you guys before 2021 i have never had lifted a weight i didn't do any kind of weight training nothing the closest that i've gotten was like running and you know doing some bands and resistive bands like that is like the most so this past year i learned a lot about working out and I want to definitely carry that into the new year because for me, that is where I feel the most happiest besides my family, being with my family and things like that. But it's one, the one thing that I do that is solely for me, that's what makes me really happy and confident and I feel my best. So that is definitely another goal of mine is to continue with my fitness. And for this channel in particular, More With Moros, we definitely have a lot, like I was saying before, a lot of goals for YouTube content. So a lot of that stuff we have to wait and be patient and see if it comes to fruition. 
Um, I, there's a lot of things that I can't talk about yet because I don't want to say it yet and then it not work out. So you guys will just have to wait to see what is in store, but we also have some projects that we do want to do because we do want to bring back a lot of the DIY projects and things like that around the house. Um, obviously we can't do big projects like we were doing before, like making new rooms in our house, but we definitely have little things that we want to change and do. But anyways, I feel like I'm talking too much about the goals and everything, but I want to hear from you guys as well. What do you guys have in store or plan for for 2022 that you're excited about and also let me know if there's anything that you guys would like to see in particular on this channel for the new year as well you lay beside me you held my hand in the dark i started fighting because i was scared of it all Tough one sometimes Please move closed. I'm gonna be honest with you guys taking down all the Christmas decorations as much as it was refreshing and it feels good to have a clean slate so to say our house be our clean slate but you know what i mean it was a little depressing taking down all the christmas decorations i just feel like it went by so fast that i didn't even really get to enjoy them like i just remember being so excited to put them out before thanksgiving because i was like you know what why enjoy christmas decorations for one month that's why i put them out so early so i can enjoy them longer but it just went by so fast that i didn't even feel like i could enjoy them and then by the time Christmas happens and there's toys everywhere the house is in disarray that just clutter everything I just want everything gone it's like a vicious cycle I don't know but it was a little depressing taking everything down but it also got me excited to start decorating for spring I'm gonna hold off a little bit longer it's just January even though where I live, it's currently 70 degrees outside. So it makes me want to decorate for spring when it feels like it's spring outside, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit longer. But nonetheless, it still feels good to get all of this stuff put away. As I was taking down all the decorations or the, all the ornaments for the kids tree I say the kids tree because we put it in the playroom I realized that by next year when it comes time to take it out again I'm probably gonna end up re flocking it because I've noticed so much of the snow and the flock has came off over the past couple years the only thing the only downside is that it does make quite a mess if you guys watched my last Christmas decorate with me then you saw that I flocked that little tree that I put on our front porch and just that little tree alone it made <laughs> such a huge mess so you can only imagine the mess it makes when you do a huge Christmas tree or maybe because Frank and I were talking about this. He's allergic to some trees, but we were gonna see if maybe we could get a real Christmas tree. I don't know if he'll be able to tolerate it or not, but we were also thinking about that. Also notice the flock that is in my hair because like I said, that crap gets everywhere, but I don't know. Maybe I don't need to be thinking about Christmas trees. I have another year to worry and think about Christmas trees. <laughs>
So I think a number one question I get here or get on this channel all the time is how we store all of our decorations or what do we have for storage to be able to store all of this or like what does that look like for us? So I have to always break it down because I do get a lot of flack about, well, don't you have an addict? Don't you have a garage? Why do you have a storage pod for extra stuff? So I have to break it down. We do have an addict, but it's mainly installation up there. Like there's no platforms. I hope I'm describing this correctly. There's no flooring up there to be able to store stuff. And then in our garage, you guys know we have Simply Edge. So we have to make a lot of storage space, not only for our household stuff like paint and tools and things like that, but we have to have space for inventory, shipping boxes. We have a lot of stuff in the garage just solely for Simply Etched. So since the attic is out and the garage is out, a lot of you guys ask, why don't we have a basement? For whatever reason, it's not common in the Carolinas. I am I know because I have been to a lot of houses and a lot of houses here do not have basements. It's more rare to have a basement than to not have a basement where I live. So we do have a separate storage pod where we keep extra things that we can't find or we don't have the space for in our house. Um, so Frank and I were actually talking since it's very disorganized right now and we need to go through that storage pod that we are finally gonna do that this year. So expect that for a future more with more video us going through our storage pod and there's just a lot of stuff that we have to not only organize but also get rid of like we store a lot of baby stuff from our kids in there and it's just time to let that stuff go like clothes and baby gear strollers car seats we all we just need to we just need to let it go but we just have to find the time to go through it but like I said definitely expect that for a future video this year um, but now moving on to the kids room like I said after Christmas toys were everywhere it's like it exploded all throughout our house it's actually nice that the kids are getting older because they're becoming more responsible so Aria and Nolan actually already organized and put up all of their toys and I didn't have to do that for them them like I normally do they're at the age now where they can go through their room they can go through their toys they can see what they need what they want I'm talking about like old toys and then finding new space and organization for the new ones but of course you guys know Harlow and Scarlett are still very young Harlow is gonna be actually five this month holy crap that just hit me she's gonna be five years old and Scarlett soon after her is gonna be three but they're still at the age now where I have to go in their room organize it clean it so I definitely had my work cut out for me if you guys saw in the beginning there was a there was stuff everywhere so what I ended up doing was going ahead and taking those tents down making their bed and then I put all the toys that were on the floor and I put them on their beds so I could literally see what I had in front of me and I had to go through all of their stuff and organize everything. So what I ended up doing was I organized all of their Barbie toys because they got a lot of Barbies for Christmas. I put that in one bin and then in another bin I put all of their dolls and doll accessories and then in their other bin, I put all the rest of the stuff. So all the miscellaneous things, because like I said, they had so much stuff I had to go through. A lot of it, I didn't even know what went with what, and I just had to do my best at organizing it. And then I noticed there was some toys in there that were old, that were broken or missing pieces, or I couldn't find another, it was just a lot. So I actually went ahead and went through all of their bins and replaced them with their new toys from Christmas.
then last but not least, we needed to take down all of our Christmas lights outside. I know we didn't do a outdoor decorate with me video this year, um, but next year, or not next year, oh my gosh, why do I keep saying that? But this year, <laughs> this coming Christmas, we are gonna get some new lights for the outside and do something different. So we'll definitely do a video when the time comes this year. I almost want to say next year again. But again, it just felt good just to go ahead and take everything down. Another reason why we wanted to go ahead and take all the lights down is that Frank and I are actually going on a trip this month. So before we left, we wanted to just go ahead and get everything put up. That way when we come back, we don't have to stress about it and we can get into what we want or what we have planned for this year as far as business goes and get working on new content for this channel and my other channel and new product launches for Simply Etched. We just wanted a fresh start. So that is a wrap for 2021. We will not see these decorations again for another year. Actually, Frank went ahead and took everything to our storage. So it is officially out of our house. We are so excited and looking forward to what 2022 has to bring for us. And we hope that you guys will also have a great year as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Still love to hear what your goals and resolutions are for the new year. So also don't forget to put that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Thank you.